If we will just follow, God knows all about me. Yes, God understands. I walk with the Lord in sunshine and darkness. I cannot forsake Him for His great command. Temptation is great, His love is still greater. God knows all about me, it's God understands. I know of His love, I know of His healing, I know of His power, He is given to me. Without faith in God, my life would be worthless. God knows all about me. Yes, God understands. I walk with the Lord in sunshine and darkness. I cannot forsake Him for His great command. Temptation is great. His love is still great. God knows all about me. Yes, God understands. Oh, God understands. He knows all about me. He knows all my failures. He knows all my plans. He's willing to help if we will just follow. God knows all about me. Yes, God understands. Hallelujah. I'm standing over thinking, you know we got power with God. Being His people. But we got to keep praying. Amen. You know what's going to save our kids? Keep praying. Amen. What's going to keep our heal, our heal bodies? We're going to keep praying. These things are going to happen if we stay in prayer and believing in God and not giving up. When we, when we give up and throw down our hands and say, I don't know what to do, and start shoving pills in our mouth and shots in our arms and, and this and that, thinking we can do it. You know what's going to get Tracy eating right? Prayer. Amen. Now, I was thinking Amen. about this. I was looking around at all the things and issues that we have and things that's going to take prayer. It's going to take prayer. I believe God can give her the appetite that she needs to have to lose weight. How many believe that? And I believe that God can give her the appetite, but when she looks around and says, Helen, I ain't hungry, to pay attention to her. She ain't hungry. You know, just go on with it. Don't worry about her. God can give her that appetite that she needs to, to, to do and to live the way she needs to do. He knows she's not active. He knows these things. and He knows what she needs. If we just trust Him and to pray about it, just get down and serious. we got to get serious with God about the things in our life. Prayer, it, it takes prayer, people. It just, it just about our children, everything that's going on in their life. We take things in our own hands and we do these things. And God, we just got to look around and just and quit doing these things. we got to do it. Why? We're going to end up like one of them in the Old Testament. They take it. They tried to help God. Here's Abraham and Sarah. And Sarah wanted to just help God with giving Abraham a child. And what did it do? They're having problems to this day That's out right. of that seed that that happened Amen. at that That's time. Right. We, if we right. just take and trust God, then we won't have these problems come upon us from us trying to add to what God wants to do in our life. If we just trust Him, He's wanting us to look at Him. Why does problems and things happen? What is some things for? I believe some things is there to keep me humble, yeah. keep me praying, to keep me where yeah. I'm supposed to be in life. Because if everything was just hunky dory, would I forget about God? So I'm telling you, I want to say right now, in the way that I feel, that I wouldn't forget about God. But what, what, would I forget about God? Listen, because things goes on in people's lives, they they start getting fine homes and automobiles, and yeah. things paychecks start coming in good, and everything's just seem fine. They start taking care of their sickness with their wallets and with their fine insurance, and then they forget about God. They yeah. say, where's God at now? To a big tragedy comes and right. takes everything and God burns their barley fields and everything that they got. Then they want to remember God then. Yeah. And then the old preachers used to say they use Him for a spare tire. They just get Him out anytime they need Him when things go flat and they ride on just a little longer until they get something new and then they forget about Him throw Him in the trunk again. But mm -hmm. I want to tell we got to have God in prayer first in our life in every situation that we have. In our, whether it's our finances, our job, our relationship with our neighbors, with our children, with our wives and our husbands. God's got to be first in everything. Amen. He does. If He don't, we're going to fail. 
We're going to fail. We've got to keep and continue in prayer. In prayer. Praying. Giving God the things in our life. Giving, and quit giving up on Him so soon. Amen. We give up so soon on God. Amen. I'm guilty of it myself. We give up on things and then we start taking it in our own hands, yeah. in our own words, and in our own ways. And it's God that's got to do this thing. It's got, can God do it through you? Yes, He can. He can do it through you if it's me. But make sure. I was reading in there today about the false prophets. Prophets and the prophets that come and when these back in the Old Testament, he said these prophets, these prophets that came and they spoke something and they didn't come to pass. He said they spoke it presumptuously by themselves and it wasn't of yeah. God and it just didn't come. He said pay no no attention to them. Nothing in one place is supposed to be killed and he done. He said but we need to take and start listen. The when people prophesy and prophet, we need to pay attention to them and see if it comes to pass. Yes. It's the truth today. Yes. Why to mark those. Yes. To mark those that's false prophets. Amen. To mark those that's that way. So you don't go in the way that they're going. Right. And going in the way. But people anymore, you're not. Oh, we just miss God. It's a false prophet is what the Bible said. Right. You prophesy something and it don't come to pass. You're a false prophet. Right. It's the truth that's today. Right. And we need to repent for the false prophecy that we give. Right. We do and get back right. It ain't that you can't get back right with God. You need to get back right with God. It's the truth today, and it, but some things we got we need to admit in our life. The things that we admit in our life, that's things that we've repent of. We repent of it when we when we admit it that it's wrong and we've done it and it's over with. I love the Lord today. He's a good God. Amen. Let's not forget prayer that we've got power Amen. with God. Amen. We've got power. We're His people today. We've got power. The issues that's going on with our kids and, and things going on, we need to keep praying about it and keep seeking God about it because it's going to change, Addison. It's going to change if we'll keep praying. If keep praying, keep praying about it. Donna's going to change. Amen. They're going to be here. They're going to they're going to go where they need to be to get right with God. I love. We just got to keep praying about it. Well, what if it don't come? To, I'm going to keep praying. I don't care what you say. Just keep praying. I got to. That's all I've got. I ain't got nothing else for. I ain't got nothing else for Danny. All I got is prayer. I can just get down at night and say, Lord, protect him. Get up in the morning. Lord, protect him. Yeah. Lord, save his soul. Lord, aggravate his heart today. Yes. Just bring a conviction up on his life, God, that he, he needs to come with yes. me. And I just, and I, I don't know, but every time I talk to him, i got to mention something about Jesus. Yes. I know some parents say, well, my kids won't come around. I just can't help it when he when he texts me or when I, I say, son, you got to have your life right with God. It's going to be all right, man. He's wanting to get this and get that and have a house and do it. it it takes time for all that, but without God, it's vain. And we need to have God in the front of it. Why? Because it, it, if it's built on God and it's built by God, it's going to stand and it's going to be there. It's going to be a marriage that God wants. It's going to be it's going to be a job that God wants. It's going to be everything that God wants. If we're taking this trust in today. Amen. He's a good God. I love Him. Let's not give up on God and forget prayer. That's right. We've got prayer when we get down on our knees. Can you just see Him there? I'm God. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to God. We've got access to God. This ain't no wooden thing on a on a, right. on a on a shelf somewhere. This ain't just some name. This ain't this is God that we're going to. Mm -hmm. And his name is Jesus today. Yeah. This is God Himself yes. that can do all things. That if they mention any other God, then everything that's by him is created for him. He made the evil and the good. Yes, he, he created did. it all today. He created Lucifer, the one that's out here all the time and biting at our heels and we're kicking him in the head. He yeah. created him. He was once beautiful. He was once perfect, but he was cast down because he he wanted a place above God. Yep. And we can't get that place above God. We've got, mm -hmm. to stay, we've got to stay humble. We'll keep God on the throne Amen. and us at His feet and keep who we need to be in Him. Well, we're priests today. We're, we're His holy holy people, peculiar people, yeah. a nation that He loves. We're His people today. And I love Him and I thank Him today. He's a good God, but I just share Him with on my heart again. I love Him. He's everything.